Hi there and welcome back to Max Difficulty Stellaris with the children of Atlantis. We're holding our own now and we're preparing for something. We're in a habitat rush at the moment. We're upgrading our fleets and we prepare to upgrade our stations as well. We've made great technological progress through war. Not a war that we started being the good guys, but a war that we suffered. No, a war that we joined. We helped our friends the eye highs against slaving despots. Something that is definitely... Um, something good. And now, we go for a new life. A new life awaits our citizens. In the off-world colonies, a chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. With the help of an aggressive marketing campaign, the less fortunate events of our society be flocking to our colony ships. We're preparing for the next habitat. We want to have these habitats. We want to have habitats everywhere. They will be the core of our society. On this barren world we'll have, we'll start the next one. Build the next habitat here. Come on, just do it. Synths are being built. Special research robots. Fleet enhancement supply. Also, special uh, research concluded. Worker synths. And soon enough, we will manipulate our people to uh, reach the next echelon of genetic enhancement. And here, I Advanced after bonus, make our ships quicker, especially the corvettes. Sublight speed 20%, evasion 10%. These improved after bonus, providing more combat speed for the ship. What shall we do now? What would be good? Standardized battleship patterns would be a good choice. Titans would be a really good choice too. We might have to go for something cheap and very efficient like the flak artillery would be a, an excellent choice because we're not going to build many battleships at the moment we're first concentrating on upgrading everything we have so flak artillery flak is such a good thing that the same goes for kinetic batteries they are also so good that the choice is usually to go for them so let's see is kinetic. Kinetic is in the research agreement. Um, do we have other people for research? Not really at the moment. All people are occupied at the moment. So we go for the kinetic battery. That will also be uh, probably a very good improvement. On the other hand, Titans, right? And the iron cannon for the station. And it's also in the research agreement. And we're getting citadels. <sighs> and fleet command limit goes up by 10. It's so tempting. It's so tempting that all. Yeah, let's go for titans. <sighs> but 52 months. 52 months, that's so long. Ah. <sighs> the flak also has this. No, let's go for the kinetic battery. That's the safest, and we're we're prone to to choose the safest spots because we cannot risk it with a, a powerful opponent to our side and a potential opponent growing here in the race of Yith that is friendly or protective to us at the moment, but so overwhelming and winning wars left and right. Heracles' fleet has been upgraded. Great, they had 10k. Now they have still 10k. That will change. That will change. As did the lake. The lake had like 6k and now it's 10k. Um, there is something not really working that well with the act, uh, with the, with these numbers representing stuff. So there's that. There is that. New hydrophonics farms are coming too, so we will spread our people to the habitats very quickly. 
Let's see what we have. Nano vitality crops, infusing crop strands. A small amount of nano machines help create a type of producer that is ultra resilient, the chemical composition of which can be tailored and altered during its entire lifetime. Really cool. Subdermal stimulation we have still, but we don't see that as useful at the moment now. But what do we see? Combat training. Would be good if we wanted to invade something. Also, if we wanted to defend and it comes to the last, but we are not there at the moment. Ecological adaptation is something that we should have done already, and it's quick to pick up and increases also our energy storage capacity, something that may become relevant. So we're going for that. Energy also very important. As we can buy monuments for our habitats through the energy. Which creates in turn unity, which is very, very good for us. Now, yeah, we can upgrade. And we should do that because the cost is ne negligible compared to the growth we get from this. We don't have many of the hydrophonics farms anymore, but the ones we have we should be upgraded. To increase our growth. Because we're not yet full. Or are we? We're soon to be full. Look at that. Well, there's some room on the Saturn habitat still. What do we have here? Mm, we can upgrade this. We like the growth. And Astro Mining Bays. Yes, minor synthetics are coming. Things are not too bad. Look at that. We, we get to save up for the next habitat now. It's definitely very important. Construction project concluded. Can already position for the next habitat here in this Barnard star system. Let's see, let's see. We don't have anything like free here. We have that star. Could go to Diogenes. There's some planets here. Do we have a yeah, there's a megastructure possible here. The Diogenes system. Closing borders by the Yug. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> after that war, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Hmm. The Atlantean physique is clearly built for manual labor. What business do you have running an interstellar civilization? Well, your technology level is inferior, Yug Worms. We'll close your, the borders to you because we don't need your influence here. Receiving so, transmission. 150 would be something we could unite these fleets. Is that possible? Take point, fleet manager. How would that work right now? Yeah, we could merge them. Let's go. That's probably a very good thing. Ah, the foundation of Chognar again. They're fanatic spiritualists and they want. They're receptive. They want an active sensor link. We just had a war with them and they want an active sensor link. They're receptive though. They must be at peace. No, um, that's absolutely not what we want with you. Guys, that's nothing. Just not. You're slaving despots, you're fanatic spiritualists. That's, that's not who we want to have as friends. Initial colonization phase complete. Uh, Marnot's star habitat. How about we start off with a work of art? Commission an art piece for 3000. It's awfully much, but it's pretty good. Let's go for the start with the art monument. And then we'll go for the visitor center. Followed up by the Gene Clinic. 
the Leisure District, and then the Paradise Dome. And what do we want here? We'll, we'll start to mark these. Um, we want to make this an energy habitat. So we'll make an E behind it to remember that. Could we build there? Solar power processors then, but we'll save these for later. And uh, we could already start building some pops. And to do that, we also like to maybe change our synthetics a little bit. Uh, that's the minor synthetic. We'll we'll go for an. Uh, Energetic, ener, uh, synthetic. The anosynthetics. Ah, uh, what picture do we want? Yeah, energy synthetics. Maybe like like that. Looks like a relay station or something that, with that, like an antenna. So efficient processors is not bad. Power drills can go away. Mm. We want superconductive. And durable would also be good, I guess. I guess. Yeah, create that template. The inner synthetics. So where's our newest habitat here? And we'll build some inner synthetics here. Yeah, we should have done that. Um, not manually, but with a with a clicker thing. Still though, it's okay. And look at that, Heracles fleet. Is now at 27k. That's something else. That's pretty great. Finally, we have a great fleet. Construction project concluded. New Atlantis is ready. Buffsh is ready. Really cool. Yeah, it comes to that. We need more minerals. Diony. for just about everything. And ooh, Mihane Sasaki has died at the age of 124. These experienced governors, we need them so much. Oh, the, cover the governor of our core sector. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Who are we going to use this for? Maybe Rekex Itanka? I mean, architectural interest is all good, but yeah, I mean, intellectual is pretty great. Hmm. Imir Schwartz would give more um, minerals and save some minerals. So yeah, let's go for the oldest, the oldest to have. And we'll hire a new leader who is there. We love intellectuals, but... Uh, also, other people are okay. Anna Bergmeister. I think we might try Palit Umlatika, um, um, the Mirren. Could try. Resilient one, but also Anna Bergmeister. Is still young for our age. And can reach a very high level. Anna Bergmeister it is. There we go. She can start to collect some experience in the Hippocrates sector. Let's see what she will get. Research concluded. Neutronium extraction. 
Neutronium is a super dense substance composed of neutrons that can be forged into extremely resistant and durable armor. Do we have neutronium? No! And gateway construction. It allows us to rebuild and construct new gateways. Some things you just cannot pass up, even if the other things are so important, like the particle lands would be really important, but gateway construction tops this anytime. It's just our scientific drive that brings us to to these mad projects. While in the other things we go for pragmatics, these ways are the ways we must be on the front of the galaxy. Diogenes Prime finished its surface construction queue. Good, good. Did I say we need more minerals? We need more minerals. A lot more minerals. And the Merry Mac. Yeah, it's already positioned above Venus. How is the election going, by the way? Construction project Next election, election is in two years. And we'd really like to keep him, but if there's someone better, why not, right? Look at that. That's already full, the Uranus habitat. Oh, it's just great. Just great research coming. We have to sort these. I mean, we have so many immigrants, it's crazy. It's crazy, look at that. <laughs> so much unity for the, from the art monument. The Saturn habitat. Has unemployment. Wow, it's already nearly full with the Pogovons. They're traditional, that's also a good thing. Um... Traditional. Yeah, there's the art monument being constructed. Let's bring them here, the traditional Pokemon. A leisure district. Uh, yeah, the Pokemon can go to the leisure district. It's okay. Have people coming here. Turn. Really needs stuff. The Amarathi are still in the late medieval age. What do we watch for? At the right time, we might enlighten them. Anna Bergmeister already leveled up. Very good. Well, we got to look for. Also the policies and edicts here. Research like education and recycling and healthcare campaigns are very important for us. Ecological adaptation. Adapting planetary ecosystems to large-scale environmental changes. We can turn terraformation into a less disruptive process. We love that. Oh, look at that. Nutrient replication, really? I mean, it's not something we need right now, but it's... Wow. It's just wow. The process of synthetically replicating crops requires a lot of collected waste to create a small amount of fruit use, but nevertheless provides a significant boost to agricultural output. And we are on the forefront of this. It is why we are the children of Atlantis. We symbolize this. We symbolize this. Well, um, that said, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We we'll continue to upgrade ourselves. And the future of equality in this galaxy to a better place. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. Make Thudu guide your dreams.